While CV Toolkit is a desktop application, it can be controlled from tablets, smartphones, or other devices via OSC. For this example, let's open up an empty layout, load the LFO module into slot number 1, and set up a lemur template to control some parameters of that LFO module. While I'm using lemur for this example, you could use TouchOSC or any other OSC application. Next up, I'm going to open up the lemur editor and add three knobs that I'm going to map to the CV amount, frequency, and gain parameters of the LFO module. The OSC addresses for these parameters in CV Toolkit are based on a simple structure forward slash slot number forward slash parameter name. So to control these three parameters of the LFO module, we're going to use the following three OSC addresses. The range of the OSC messages depend on the parameter that we would like to control. Unipolar parameters expect OSC messages ranging from 0 to 1, while bipolar parameters expect OSC messages ranging from minus 1 to 1. After adding the controls to my lemur template, I'll make sure that the lemur app is properly set up to send OSC messages to my computer, and that CV Toolkit is also set up to receive OSC signals in the proper port. At this point, we can test our setup to make sure that everything is working. If the controls are not working, make sure to check the OSC addresses for the parameters, as well as the port being used. Some ports can also be blocked due to firewalls on your network, so you could also try using a different port. For more details about the OSC implementation in CV Toolkit, check the video description for a link to the OSC section available in the CV Toolkit user manual. As always, thanks for watching.